I'm Matt Kane. I'm a landscape architect. I've been doing this for about 45 years. I'm semi-retired, working part-time for a, a company called CPL. They're an engineering architectural firm that I joined because they offered me an opportunity to work part-time and help them win work and do work. So I'm kind of doing what I love in a way that I can love doing it. Linda, it's great to be here to talk to you about the park and go over some of the ideas we have, but before I do that, I want to tell you why we were really interested in doing this park. I was raised on a farm down in South Georgia, I was raised in a small town that didn't really have any parks. When I came up here and saw this beautiful piece of ground, such a big piece of ground in a small town, I thought, this is, this is what I like to do. I specifically wanted to do this project, that's why we tried so hard to win it, and thank you for letting us win it. The beauty of this park is that it's, it's in a very nice location and that it has water on one side and mountains on the other. It has an open space where people can get out and do whatever they want to. It's very informal. It has a, a characteristic of its own because it used to be a farm. It's still got the barn. It still has that, that untouched open space feel. So we were real pleased when we saw the trail system that you put in that it was already there and that it serviced the people. We saw people walking through it. So what we felt like when we first saw it was we just want to enhance this and improve it, not overdo it, not, not bury it under a whole lot of stuff. So for that reason, we focused on the barn being the center, center point where the main activities would take place. Of course, you got to have a parking lot, so we pushed that over to the edge where it wouldn't be out into the opening. And we put a fence around it, but it's a, it's a farm fence. The real purpose of the fence is to keep cars from driving out in the open space. Otherwise, the fence is able to look like a farm. And the rest of it is just generally open space, easy to use activities, a dog park, a place to have a small concert, wildflowers. You'll be amazed how those wildflowers are going to draw people. Once that thing comes out in full bloom, this place will be covered with people that come from all over to see it. Uh, we hope that with the ag field, you'll be able to maybe let somebody grow pumpkins and then have a pumpkin patch, pick your own pumpkin for Halloween. We really like the idea of the community garden because we know people want to get out and get their hands dirty. At least my generation does now because most of us were raised in an agricultural area and we want to go back to our roots. And I think some of the kids that are growing up in the cities need to, need to go back and touch that as well. So having those facilities here available are, are just outstanding. But that's basically the whole theory and vision behind the park was to make it an open space for people where I could come out here by myself and feel comfortable and enjoy it, love it. Or I could come out here with 500 people and be comfortable enjoy it and it would have the flexibility that you and the city and even the county or anybody else could have whatever kind of activity they have out here and have plenty of space to do it and have the utilities to service them so they can. Well, Linda again I'd like to thank you for, for letting me be involved and for picking us so that we could be involved in this project and I know this is a master plan a master plan is meant to be very flexible I anticipate that there will be changes and improvements as you go through it. I look forward to the opportunity to experience the park. In fact, that's one of the great experiences of being a landscape architect, is that you can go back and see your work done and see how people enjoy it and, and learn from your own designs. Thank you very much.